I declare open this congregation for the conferment of degrees. Vice Chancellor, I submit to you the candidates from the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science for the degrees of Bachelor of Engineering, Master of Engineering, Master of Science, Master of Philosophy, and Doctor of Philosophy. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, Chong Yang Ang. Many congratulations on having graduated from the University of Southampton. You've worked hard for your degree, so best wishes from everyone here at the university, and I'm sure I'm also speaking for your family and friends and all those who've helped you with this tremendous achievement. You've not only worked hard, but I hope you've also taken away from the university many fond memories of life here in Southampton. Remember that in the future, you now belong to the University of Southampton Society, which is your alumni association. It regularly produces the Hartley News, the newsletter which keeps you in touch with all your friends, and also organizes many events. And I hope you will become a member of the Society and continue to keep in touch with all your friends and former colleagues here in the University. Congratulations on having received your degree from the University of Southampton. This record of the graduation ceremony is your personal reminder of the occasion and of your student days at Southampton. It also highlights some of the many changes and developments that have taken place at the University during your time here as a student. The origins of the University of Southampton date back to 1862, when the Hartley Institution was founded in the centre of the city, the result of a far-sighted and generous benefaction by Henry Robinson Hartley, the son of a wealthy Southampton wine merchant. By 1919, having outgrown its city location, the renamed Hartley University College moved to Highfield, a few miles north of the city centre, where a new site bordering Southampton Common would allow space for the college's expansion over the coming years. Although some of the original buildings still survive from those early days, most of the buildings at the Highfield campus are a result of the university's expansion in the 1960s. The west side of the campus in particular, with its dramatic landscape, provided an attractive setting for the contemporary buildings designed by Basil Spence. The University of Southampton received its charter as a university in 1952. It's now regarded as one of Britain's leading research universities, with a reputation for excellence that draws students and researchers from all over the world. Southampton students have the opportunity to be taught by leading researchers at the forefront of their disciplines and to benefit from the latest research findings. The city of Southampton and the Solent region in general offer welcome opportunities for taking time out and there's no shortage of events on campus. System. Increasing student numbers have brought new opportunities at Southampton, reflected in the many new buildings opened in recent years. years. 